Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we're going to be using the return operator. So what's, what's the deal with the return operator? So again, this is section five in lecture seven. So let's jump right into it. So using the return operator, the return operator immediately returns a value from a subroutine. So what this means again is just that once our subroutine looks at the return operator, it tells Perl to return that expression as a value or the, the calculation based on that expression and return it back as a value and to stop anything that the subroutine is doing after that return statement. And we'll take a look at that in examples as well. So for my example, I create a subroutine called names because once I find a name, I want to just return that name and stop any other code that's being executed within our subroutine. So I set up a for each control structure. And of course, I want the user to type in some names. So I store those names in my special array of my subroutine. And I'm using another if control structure to find that specific name. So if the name matches or is equal to JDM, I want to immediately return that name J JDM if it was found in that list, in that parameter list. So after that, it jumps down and jumps out of our subroutine. And we want to assign that name a scalar value. So we assign it to our scalar variable. And we want to print that name. So that's all that I'm doing here. So let me do some examples for you guys and put this in action for you. So first, I start by defining my subroutine. So that's sub, and this time I'll call my subroutine names. Give it my curly braces to set up my Perl instructions or my block of code. And what I'll do here is I'll set up my for each statement or control structure, and I'll name our scalar var variable control variable name. And I'll use my parameter list array because, again, I want the user to enter in a list of names. So once I do that, I want to add another if control structure this time. So I want to compare two different values. So I want to say if the current element's value is equal, and again, remember guys, I'm comparing strings, so I want to use the string comparison operator, which is EQ, followed by double quotes, and I'll just call the name Jadian. So I want to compare the value that's contained inside that parameter list and I want it to be equal to JDN. If it is equal to JDN, I want to, let's say, return that name. So I'll copy our scalar variable, and that's going to contain that name. So once it do that, once it does that, it jumps out of our for each loop, and I want to call. our subroutine this time. Let's give it some names. So I'll call it the first parameter, Victor, the second one, Jadian, and the last one, Jackson. And the reason why I want, want it to find Jadian because again, it's not the last name in our parameter list. So once it looks at JDN, it's going to stop looking 
at the elements in our array and just return the one that's found only to let you guys know that once something happens and it finds it it does it stops executing the block of code or the subroutine so of course I want to set up a scalar variable to contain our returned name and let's just put here print something is here so I just kinda threw this print statement in to let you guys know that most likely it's not going to use this this print statement because like I said again once it finds it finds the returns the return operator it immediately tells the subroutine to stop doing whatever you're doing and it just return that value of that expression so once we do that let's actually print out that name that it found so I'll just put name selected and I'll just copy and paste and this time I'll put two, two new line characters so let's see what happens so if we click run run script it should just give us our name so again let me see what happened here undefined subroutine called that oh okay sorry about that guys and again if you guys find errors they're your best friends because you learn a lot more when you happen to throw in errors so as we see Perl is help is helping us out by saying hey your your um, error is on line 13 it says you have an undefined subroutine called name so if we look back of course I miss the S so if I just put in the S resave our work click run run script it should work out as what we expected so again what it did was once it found the return statement it immediately saves our value and it did not jump down to our next line of code which is print because again by definition once it finds the return state statement it, imme imme it immediately returns that value or it exits out of that that block of code and most likely our subroutine as well so now that's done so pretty much in a nutshell that's all the return operator does it just once once it finds um the block of code it stops the next line of code and it jumps out of that scope which is within the curly braces or our subroutine and it goes down to the next line of code once it jumps out of our curly braces as well in our subroutine so again if you guys have any questions please feel free to let me know and I'll see you guys in our next lecture